In this video, we're going to quickly review the most recent Fannie Mae housing market forecast, which was just published on June 10th, 2024. And this information is going to be useful for anyone who's thinking about buying or selling residential real estate in the relatively near term future. And what we're gonna be looking at is their forecast for the 30 year fixed rate mortgage, where home prices are heading, and the total number of home sales we're gonna see across the country. And it's important to remember that this is a national forecast and local housing markets can vary extremely differently from what's going on you know, in the nation kind of as an average and as a whole. So for example, Redfin just published that the Anaheim Metro, which is where I'm from, saw the largest year over year median price gain of 16.8% in May, of 2024. But if you look at other areas of the country, we're actually seeing home prices that are starting to drop. So, you know, the point is local housing markets can vary quite a bit from what we're seeing across the nation. And so we're going to start here by looking at the 30 year fixed rate mortgage. And I want to show you where we're at today. This is according to Mortgage News Daily. You can see that the 30 year fixed rate mortgage is sitting right around 7%. And their data here assumes that the buyer is not paying any points. And so moving back over to the Fannie Mae forecast, we're looking at the 30-year fixed rate mortgage, again, the current quarter, sitting right around 7%. And then they are expecting slight drops moving into the end of the year. And the fourth quarter they're expecting will average around 6.7%. And then moving into 2025, slight drops every quarter and in the fourth quarter, they're expecting an average of 6.3%. So this varies quite a bit from what they were originally forecasting at the start of the year. And so we're going to go back here. This is their January forecast. And you can see that at the end of 2025, they were originally expecting the 30-year fixed rate mortgage to sit around 5.5%. And so the change has been that the Fed has not done any rate cuts this year. At the start of the year, many people were anticipating multiple rate cuts. And even the, the chair of the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, was talking about doing multiple rate cuts this year. But here we are in June with no rate cuts. And if we're lucky, we may get one or two rate cuts this year. But there is a possibility that we go throughout the entire year without seeing any rate cuts because this is an election year. And historically, the Fed tries to stay out of politics and they typically don't make large policy changes leading up to an election. So we'll see what happens. But for now, they're really not forecasting much change moving into the end of the year or even throughout 2025. Now, moving on and taking a look at home prices, this is home prices according to their Fannie Mae home price index. And they're expecting at the end of 2024 that home prices will be up about 4.8% across the country. And then moving into 2025, they're expecting about a 1.5% gain. So the moral of the story here is that they are expecting home prices to continue to increase but at a much slower pace than what we've been seeing over the past few years. And then finally, we're going to look at total home sales. And we're going to just look at the year end here. So in 2023, we had about 4.7 million sales in the country. In 2024, we're just seeing a very slight projected increase of about 4.8 million. And then in 2025, we, we are seeing a substantial jump up to about 5.2 million home sales. So that is good news that they're expecting some more activity in the housing market. Over the past couple of years, we really have, have had very few home sales compared to what we historically have in the country. And that has been largely due to higher interest rates. It's impacted the number of new listings hitting the market and it's impacted buyer demand both towards the negative side. So it'll be nice if rates do start coming back down, that should incentivize more people to start buying and selling homes again, which would create more inventory, hopefully, and give some buyers some more options for homes to choose from. 
So if you enjoyed watching this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button and please subscribe if you like to stay up to date on the housing market. If you have any questions, feel free to call, text, or email me anytime. You can find all of my contact information in the description below. If you're in Southern California, I'd be more than happy to help you if you're thinking about buying or selling a home. And if you're located elsewhere, I can refer you to an experienced agent in your area.